How many of you have ever been on a road trip before? When I was your age, I went on a bunch with my family. All six of us would pile into the car with all the luggage, usually a couple of dogs, books, and games, and it was awesome. But my favorite part of the trip is when we would stop, we would get out of the car, stretch our legs, get gas, take a bathroom break, and then we would get snacks. And we each were allowed to pick out our own snack, which was rare in my family. And I would get Nutter Butters, and they were delicious. Just thinking of going on a road trip now makes me want Nutter Butters. In our Bible story today, Jesus was on a road trip. And just like us, he needed to take a break. And he decided to get a drink of water, which is not a very fun road trip snack, if you ask me. So anyway, Jesus is sitting at a well, taking a break, and a Samaritan woman comes up to get some water. And Jesus asks her to get him a drink of water from the well. And she is super surprised. She responds, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? You see, Jews and Samaritans did not get along and it was common for them to avoid one another, speak to each other. They were from two different backgrounds, nationalities and belief systems. But Jesus wanted to have a conversation with this woman. In fact, it is the longest recorded private conversation that Jesus has with anyone. And he chose to have it with someone who was so different from him and someone who was considered not normal in his society. We all have different background, nationalities, and belief systems than others. And sometimes we are raised to think that our way is normal or the correct way and to not engage equally with those who are different. But Jesus did not see it that way. He wanted to get to know this woman and share who he was, the Messiah, our Savior. And that is for everyone. Jesus sought to break down the walls that divided people, the walls that divided the Samaritans from the Jews, men from women, and the outcasts from the community. We all want to be loved, to be included, and to be truly known. And that is what Jesus does. So let's try to be like him, to love, get to know, and include others just like he did with this Samaritan woman. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for truly knowing us. Help us to love, include, and to get to know those who are different from us. Break down any walls in our hearts so that we might be more like Jesus. We love you and all God's children said, Amen. Alrighty, I'll see you next time.